Okay, let's talk about getting to the free throw line. This year, you're already doubling what you've done in years past. Let's take a look at some video of how you are finishing through contact and being more intentional about getting to the line. And tell me why. Mark it in. Inside. He kicks it up and in. That is muscle. That is tough. That is confidence. And that is the finisher. I do have a stronger body and uh, kind of make it an emphasis to play through the contact. And here I'm trying to... Uh, I see Paul George coming over. I try to jump into his body and just finish through. I know I'm taller than him, so I can kind of hear. I shoot on the way down, trying to get the contact and then knowing that I can still finish. I'm intrigued with your strength because, you know, your first few years in the league, you're kind of known as a floor spacer or a shooter. When and how have you developed this strength to go inside and finish like you do? I think it's uh, over the years. It's a lot of work. Everything goes in my eating habits and uh, it's everyday work. Uh, if it's in the summer or during the season, just lifting weights, trying to maintain that strength. This we knew you could do, shooting from the three. But this year, it's even better. You're now getting more defensive attention from opponents. You're getting blitz. You're getting uh, doubled. Tell me how you're getting your threes differently this year and what you like about how you've overcome that. Yeah, I think it's getting different looks now and try to find the easy ones in transition. I think the time that I'm open, it's shorter, obviously with the attention that been getting but just guys been doing a good job of uh, delivering the ball when I'm open and obviously I've had a couple a couple more off the dribble threes this year than I've had in the past so that's something I've been working on as well playing against bigger maybe slower defenders sometimes like they back off like I, I felt like I need to be able to shoot off the dribble as well so which I haven't done that much in the past market and you could hear it at home rip the net this has also been a big improvement finishing at the rim we talked about your finishing through contact but in your first five seasons only 5.6 points in the paint a game this season 10 points in the paint and often against the hardest defender you're getting much more attention defensively this year let's take a look at some of these and, and tell me what stands out to you it's my favorite one of the year this one is yeah why that's my only reverse dunk i've had i think and guys were giving me crap of because Walker had been dunking reverse dunks all year and they were giving me crap for not doing it and then the next game this happened. So it was pretty cool. I love all the stuff inside because maybe that's the new twist that people yeah. didn't know you had. Do you think that's that's something that you're really excited you showed people this year? I've noticed that dunking is pretty fun. So try to do that more often. Okay, we're a fan of dunking. I do and like that. that haircut. I mean, the hair's been on point all year, so that didn't need to so, get yeah, most improved. No, no, it's not. What was your number one goal? Kind of get back to finding myself, really. It wasn't like I, I always wanted to be an all-star, but that's always been the goal when I've been in the league. But I think it was more just getting back to you my mean, game. Most improved? Do you think you deserve it this year? Uh, it wasn't my number one priority or goal for my for the year but I mean obviously it would be a cool thing to get acknowledged but we'll see what happens all right I think we've made a pretty good case most improved